if you find yourself in a similar situation with a really difficult dog, just know that there are trainers out there that can help and going through that process is really difficult, but incredibly rewarding. So today is a really special day. We are here in Tennessee at Rome Mountain State Park and we are taking our dog Roan to the mountain that he's named after. Um, I dreamed of doing this since we adopted him exactly five years ago today. Today is actually his gotcha day, unplanned, but it worked out kind of serendipitously. Um, and we've been saying that one day we would take Roan to Rome Mountain and show him the, the place that he's named after. And here we are making that someday into today. So we're gonna go up to the trailhead in a little bit after we're done packing up camp and head out for a little hike and explore the views in the area. This is an area on the border of North Carolina and Tennessee in the Blue Ridge Mountains. And it's a beautiful area that I've been to before when I hiked the Appalachian Trail back in 2016. And I'm excited to show Cody and Roan what it's all about. It's kind of funny how things worked out because we hadn't really been planning to come to this state park on Roan's Gotcha Day, but it just happened out that way. And uh, if you remember from the last video, we were up on Roan Mountain last night and we we're gonna try and camp up there, but it was super, super foggy, really, really windy and cold. Uh, but this morning, all the clouds have baked off and it's perfectly blue skies. So from what I've read on the internet and what Olivia's told me, the view up there is really good. So I'm really looking forward to experiencing that with these guys. Excited to go hiking? Just where it was needed. <laughs> Cloistered in the Gotcha Day is referring to the day that you get your dog. For us, we adopted Roan from a local animal shelter back in Oregon. And while Olivia was hiking the Appalachian Trail, she was hiking through this area, really dreaming about hiking with a dog and thinking about names. And eventually she hiked through the Roan Mountain area and really thought that it would be a great name for her future pup. A large portion of our hike today is going to be on the Appalachian Trail, which I spent a decent time hiking back in 2016. Um, I attempted a through hike uh, starting from Springer Mountain in Georgia, but ended up having to get off the trail in Pennsylvania due to a tendon injury in my foot. Um, but this section here in North Carolina, Tennessee border was one of my absolute favorites. Um, the day that I was here, I remember quite vividly because it was absolutely pouring. The trail, which is a pretty eroded kind of rocky um, trail, not like your normal pine trees or dirt, um, was just full of water from the rain. It was like hiking through a stream. I was miserable and I was upset and I did not enjoy it. Um, but halfway up the, the climb of the mountain on the other side, two of my friends from the trail <laughs> were um, singing and like skipping through the rain. And that, that mental like shift in my mind made the day go a lot better. And I ended up cresting, you know, the, the top of Run Mountain and then hiking out the other side into the Balds, which we're going to go into earlier. And just remember thinking this is the most beautiful spot on the trail and how much I enjoyed my time here. And so it feels really special to bring Cody and Rome back here and show them a place that was a very, uh, a time of adversity, but also a time of great joy for me. When we finally sober, Thank you. 
commenting on how good this forest smells. We're in a Appalachian spruce forest, which is kind of a rare and unique ecosystem. Um, you can actually see Roan Mountain from I-81 on a clear day because it's so distinguishable from the other mountains nearby with the big spruce green forest on top. Um, and just, the scent is just like a deep pine, mossy earth scent. And it's, I don't know, a lot of nostalgia for me brings me back to spending so much time on this trail, you know, six years ago. And yeah, it just feels like kind of like coming home and reminiscing in a place that I had a terrible but great day. And um, yeah, I don't know. The scent itself brings back all those memories. of shelters all along the Appalachian Trail and they're kind of a hallmark of the trail. Um, this one in particular is special because it has four sides and a door. Almost all the shelters on the AT are three-walled shelters so they give you a little protection from the elements but not quite the same as this. Uh, this one was built a really long time ago by the CCC and I think it was a four-walled shelter because the weather conditions can get so brutal up here in this high elevation ecosystem. What do you think, dude? Liking your hike? Here, go sit. Ron, do you remember when we got you and you were an absolute demon? Yeah. <laughs> he remembers. So when we got Ron, he was a puppy, obviously, and he was an absolute maniac, just like most healer border collie mixes would be. Um, but Roan actually started to get a little bit reactive at about the five month mark, maybe the six month mark. And it ended up being pretty challenging for us to overcome that. Uh, we had to work with a professional trainer and Roan went off to a board and train for about three weeks. And it's really hard to convey the difference between before he was trained and after. Uh, before he was trained, it really consumed our lives trying to manage his reactivity. We really struggled to drive anywhere in the car because he would just bark and bash his face into the glass. Whereas after the training, he was a completely new dog. We could take him anywhere. We could do almost anything. And more importantly than that, we as dog owners realized what situations were responsible situations to put him in and when it would be better to just leave him behind. And since we did that training, he has just been such a good dog. He's so well trained, really well behaved, and it's it's gone from something that's stressful to do with him to very rewarding. So we're very happy that uh, we can bring him to a place like this and not really have to worry. So for me, I had always dreamed of having an adventure dog, you know, a dog to go hiking and spend time outside with me. And the whole time I was hiking the Appalachian Trail, I just kept trying to find areas that were cool or beautiful to name my dog after, which here we are on Roan Mountain with Roan. So I manifested that dream apparently. Um, but when Roan turned reactive, uh, it was kind of crushing to me because my dream of an adventure dog sort of like frazzled in front of my eyes. And I kind of just thought that he was going to be like that forever. And there was no solution that I was stuck with a dog who couldn't go do anything and was going to freak out every time he saw another dog or another person. Uh, but then when we found the trainer and went through that whole process and came out the other side of it, I was just so relieved. And I'm just so thankful that I have a dog that as, is as high energy as he is because he can, you know, rally for five, ten mile hikes, no problem, even though he's five years old. And yeah, it's just really great to have a little adventure buddy with us. And I'm really happy to have brought him here today. You're not listening very well. Another high five. 
<laughs> you want more pretzels? <laughs> At one point, Roan's behavior had actually gotten so bad that the two of us weren't really sure if we were gonna be able to keep him. He had gotten to the point where he was so reactive that just doing simple things with him, like taking him for a walk, became really difficult. So we started thinking about giving him back to the shelter or, or finding something uh, along those lines. But honestly, the idea of letting go of this dog that we had built such a strong connection with was really, really difficult for us to, to think about. You know, he, like most cattle dogs, is just incredibly loving to his family, and it just would have been really difficult to, to let him go. And so when we found a trainer that seemed like they could truly help him become a better dog and temper his reactivity, we were super stoked. And so if you find yourself in a similar situation with a really difficult dog, just know that there are trainers out there that can help and going through that process is really difficult, but incredibly rewarding. time. I'm tired. Yeah, you got your spit on me. Did you like Brown Mountain? He says, I don't know. I'm tired. Well, we made it back to the troopy, so we're going to cook up some food, rest a little bit, and then in about an hour and a half, we're going to hike up in the opposite direction to what is called the Balds, right? Uh, Yeah. Roan Highlands. The Roan Highlands um, for sunset, which should be a pretty spectacular view. is starting to set up behind Roan Mountain <clears throat> right now so we're gonna get our bags packed up and head up the other side. Looks like we've entered the Hogwarts Forbidden Forest. This hike is only about half a mile each way so pretty short and from down below in the parking lot it really doesn't look like it's going to be forced at all on the way up, but this side of the mountain is actually pretty densely populated with spruce trees, which is cool because I haven't really ever been in a forest with these types of trees and the branches so low down on the trunks. And it really does a good job of blocking the light out. Experiences like this are the exact reason that we wanted to do this trip. Uh, getting to bring Roan to this place that's so special to Olivia and for her to get to share it with us and for us to get to share it with her is really what a trip like this is all about. And it makes us very thankful that we have the opportunity to do it.
Yeah, today I've just been feeling a lot of emotions of, you know, happiness and gratitude that we, you know, took the opportunity that was presented to us when we saw that we could travel by quitting our jobs and selling our house and being able to kind of manifest dreams that I've had for a long time. Yeah, so thanks for watching this video. Uh, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe and we're looking forward to sharing more stories like this with you guys. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.